He reads like the Hollywood version of an alpha male. There's something for everyone. You mentioned it. Well, he's was number Mike one. McKee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's he's number he's number two to Mike McKay. Um, but it, there's really something for everyone. He's an all-American football player. Graduated West Point number one in mechanical engineering. MBA from Wharton. This guy's resume is gold-plated. It doesn't get much better than this. And from what I'm hearing from tech clients, he's also into technology. He's very much uh, a geek. In in the best form of the word, and that really puts him up against. Go ahead. Right, no, no, but no, I don't mean to interrupt, but I would suggest the thrust of it is he screwed up enough times as an equity analyst <laughs> that this will be a more measured deal. Is Look, that the belief? I actually think that that what is is endearing, at least uh, for you, Tom, that he was an analyst. He started in banking. How did he uh, get the Twitter IPO? That's a very interesting story. Noto was in there very early on. Uh, you know, Goldman Sachs has had this reputation of coming in sort of later when it came to IPOs and demanding a spot in them because they're Goldman Sachs. And Noto was very keen on basically winning a big deal. So he was in there before any other bank uh, pitching. And basically, back in April, he was having discussions with executives at Twitter. Is this a a really profitable deal for Goldman? Or does this stand out in any other way other than it's Twitter, so we like to talk about Badge of honor. Yeah. Well, they, they don't have any kind of special deal like they had with the Facebook offering. You remember that during the Facebook offering, they got uh, a private placement before the IPO actually happened. So there's no deal like that emerging, although we could see the standard fee um, maybe come down a little bit because on these high-profile high offerings, you do see the standard 7% maybe come down to 3 what, or 4%. What have you heard about the road show? It's, what, two and a half weeks now? It's two and a half weeks away, potentially. Um, it will go down like most of the road shows. Goldman Sachs will be on it. And you'll have the, the, the Twitter executives also. Remember, this is a very experienced management team that's going to be pitching. Is investors. it a traditional road show where I'm worried about chicken or pasta? Or is it, <laughs> is it like in a big room like a Steve Jobs well, kind of thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, it could go either way. It depends on the client, right? It depends if you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Those are the kinds of meetings that Twitter wants to have with investors because oh, those are the kinds of meetings that could seal the deal, not the big rooms that you're talking about. They want to be able to close the investor on that meeting, and that's ultimately how Goldman Sachs will be judged.